chat GPT. I know it's going rounds from last week or so, right, in social media. So we know this is the artificial intelligence chatbot, but what is it for us, right? How it's going to help or what AWS engineer can do with this. So you will be pleasantly surprised after seeing this. So guys, please don't go anywhere. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. So what we are doing is we are asking chat GPT to write Python code for AWS Lambda function to write data in DynamoDB table and give this as an instruction or request and let's see what happens. And what happened next, right? It is amazing. You cannot be sur like uh, less surprised with it, right? You will be really, really uh, thinking like what this capability is. So it is what it is doing is it's writing code at the same time it is giving us explanation of each of the line of the code it's using so this is awesome like it's not only giving us a code but it is giving explanation as well but can we use this code as it is or we need to change something do we need to debug our function once we create it those are questions which are unanswered and we are going to get the answer to those questions as part of this tutorial or video so please stay tuned we are waiting for chat gpt to give us code which we can use it as it is or make changes to it let's see what happens so i'm just waiting it's quite fast though right like it's not that time consuming that's what i'm thinking so let's see like what chat gpt has done for us so it says uh, like write data to DynamoDB table from AWS Lambda function in Python, you will need to do the following things. One is import the necessary li libraries, import Boto3, then create DynamoDB client using Boto3, then define the Lambda function handler or define Lambda function and you can see Lambda handler is there, right? Then if you go down, right, it says like, uh, yeah, so it's just show, showing you the syntax, then write the Lambda function create an item you want to write to the dynamodb table the item is id name age as attribute this is just an example it has taken right then it is using put item as a method of the dynamodb client to write the item to the table so you can see it is using some table name as a template your table name here and we'll change it later right so with this it's also giving us complete code it just don't want us to copy Based from each statement and create a code for ourselves it's even giving us a code in entirety then we'll just copy that code and using that code we'll create a function now so let's see i'm not going to change anything as such and i just want to test it whether it can create with exact same syntax what is video getting from there so it's just uh, i'm creating a function which is test chat gpt function then choose a runtime as a python Right? And here you need to give a permission where uh, whether Lambda can write it to DynamoDB, right? You need to give that permission. So this has create, update, delete to DynamoDB table. I just kept it very simple. It can do it on the all the tables. So just click on create function. That's it. So function is created, but obviously it will have its default code. So we'll change it with whatever uh, chat GPT want us to use. Right. Only thing we are going to change here is the table name. So just make this table something like uh, I'll just use my table to keep it simple. Right. Then my table and then deploy this function. Right. So you can just go through the code as well if you want. But here I'm not going to do that. I'll just deploy it because I just want to test whether uh, chat gpt gives us the right code okay so table we are going to create manually my table then uh, partition key which is a primary key will be id i'm not using any sort key and that's it so like nano db like uh, runtime it will just allocate those attributes what we are asking it to do okay so with this we are almost done only one thing we should change it to string because like ID primary key, right? I'll change it to string because here I use string. While creating a table, I could have done a number and there, then this function would have worked as it is. But let me make it string here. This is like just to uh, like make sure that it is matching to DynamoDB table what we have created. 
okay but this is like the way we created a table right we could have created a number and it would have worked as it is okay so let's see deploy this function with whatever change we have done and then with this right i'm hoping it should work but not sure guys like let's we want to test it so uh, just test like uh, give like create this uh, test event you, you do not need to worry about the event json just keep it as it is because we are not going to use anything any input parameters so test yeah it's okay so great so we haven't seen error so far no errors no debugging needed but does it create a record it doesn't say anything right so that logging is not there so let's go and we are not talking about logging right we just want need to see functionality so my table if you go the explore table count and there it is like dynamodb has that record which was inserted with the code what artificial intelligence uh, uh, provided to us like it's not something we have written so this is really great this is awesome what we have seen i'm sure there will be lots of use cases yeah so you yourself can try and see what other things you can do with chat gpt right i will not go into discussion like whether it is good or bad but when i saw this first time myself i was very surprised and positively surprised of course i, I didn't expect it to do uh, these things like with such a accuracy which you know, with nice explanation that is something which i really like and uh, i just thought i'll share with you guys like what i like right i wanted to share so and the intent of this video is just to share with you what i learned recently so hope you learned something new you liked what you saw and goodbye for now we'll come up with it another tutorial which will be as interesting thank you bye take care hope you learned something new today if so please like this video share leave your comment so that i know this content is helping you don't forget to subscribe and that's now okay see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about aws keep learning keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching